folks hello folks this is the question of 2017 october november paper 23 and it is question number three the first choice first question is about the state statement for uh, principle of conservation of momentum which you can do our main focus is in the numerical part as i uh, previously stated in other questions also it says that ball a moves with speed v moves with speed b along a horizontal frictionless surface surface towards a stationary ball b this velocity is zero so it's uh, v so u b i would say is equal to zero uh, before collision so uh, after collision as you can see ball a is moving in this direction and b is moving in this direction so ball a has mass 4.0 kg and ball b has mass 12 kg the balls collide and then move apart as shown in figure 3.2 the ball a has velocity 6.0 meter per second 0 0.0 meter per second at angle theta to the horizontal to the direction of the actually initial path ball b has velocity 3.5 meter per second at an angle of 30 degree 30 degree to the direction of the initial path of ball a so uh, the question is by considering the components of momentum at right angles to the direction of the initial path so what we have is the this velocity this velocity and the momentum in this direction has component in this direction and in the perpendicular direction as well this also has component here also and in the perpendicular direction as well so what we have to do is we have to consider the components components perpendicular to this this direction to calculate the value of theta so let's uh, uh, draw arrows to show the components so these are the components so the component of this thing in, in this uh, momentum here will be it will be uh, mass is 4.0 into velocity is 6.0 since it's theta the component here is sine theta sine theta minus it's minus because this component is in reverse direction so minus it is mass is 12 kg into 3.5 is the velocity and the component here is again sine of 30 degree equal to zero equal to zero because the initial movement was like this and there is no other uh, motion in this particular direction so that's why it should be zero now if i solve it what we have is what we will uh, have is 4 6 uh, uh, 24 sine theta should be equal to 12 into 3.5 is 12 into 3.5 is it is 42 so 42 sine of 30 degree uh, so it will give me or i can say or or uh, sine of theta is equal to 42 by 24 sine of 30 degree which will be equal to equal to equal equal to equal to equal equal to equal to so it is 0 0.875 which gives us theta is equal to theta is equal to uh, so it is 61 degree 61 degree so the value theta is equal to 61 degree here now in the next part of the question so if i spread the question like this if I spread the question like this, it says that use your answer in one, in one, to show that that the initial speed of v, um, speed v of the ball is 12 meter per second. So we have to use this answer to find that this is speed of the ball is 12 meter per second. Now, if I consider the momentum in this direction, in this direction, so what we should have is what we should have is the initial momentum should be equal to final momentum initial momentum should be equal to final momentum and the initial momentum is somewhat like this it has got momentum but it does not have momentum because the velocity was zero so we should have considering initial momentum so it should be 4.0 into v 0 into v in this direction plus plus 12 into 0 0 because it is at rest that should be equal to the component of this momentum in this direction so it is 6.0 
six point sorry it is four point zero four point zero into six point zero cos of this is theta is equal to uh, sixty one degree sixty one degree uh, plus plus the component here should be equal to equal to twelve into into three point five cos of thirty degree cos of 30 degree mm, so this is the calculation so from here I can find the value of this uh, uh, V so it is I have got uh, 4.0 V is equal to let me do the calculation here so I have uh, 424 24 into into cos 61 equal to equal to plus plus uh, 12 into 35 sorry 3.5 into cos 30 cos 30 so it should be this and this equal to so it is 48 equal to 48 so this means v should be equal to 12 meter per second so this V is equal to 12 meter per second, which is as in the in the given condition. So proven. Now, by calculation of the kinetic energies, we have to determine whether the uh, collision is elastic or inelastic. So let's do it. The initial Ke is composed of the Ke, Ke is composed of uh, the Ke of this thing only because it doesn't have Ke. So initial Ke Ke initially is equal to uh, our mass is 4.0 into velocity is 12 uh, sorry uh, it is let me do the calculation here it is 1 by 2 into mass is 4.0 into velocity is 12 square so it is 2 to the 4 which is 144 288 joules now if I go through the K of these things so Ke final is equal to sum of Ke of these two things so it should be 1 by 2 into 4.0 into 6.0 square plus 1.2 into into this is a 12 into this is 3.5 square so this whole thing will be equal to 2 to the 4 2 to the 12 so it should be it should be it should be every this is 2 2 into 36 is a 72 so it is a 72 plus plus this is 6 so it is 6 into 3.5 square equal to so it is 145 so it should be 145.5 joules now as you can see that uh, ke final is less than ke initial so there should be there, should, there, should, there, should, there is loss of ke so loss of ke means that Loss of K means that the collision is not elastic, it is inelastic. So what I can say is since since uh, there is there is a loss of key key, the collision is the collision is is inelastic inelastic.